a couple of years ago, we were invited to um, Prague to give a to give a presentation at their biochemistry meeting. I think they're one of their national meetings, and so I went with a couple other um, scientists that I was friends with. And afterwards, we all went to the little town where Gregor Mendel did all of his experiments. And you go into the garden, and it's really great because there's this Punnett square made out of red, white, and pink flowers. <laughs> so you see genetics in, in, in real life. It was, it was, it was, he was really ahead of his time. So here's another example of a person who didn't understand what DNA was, didn't know what a gene was, but he was able to follow the concept that there had to be some material that was working together, some of that genetics, to give you that pink flower or in that wrinkled pea instead of the smooth pea. So anyway, he's, he's cool. <laughs> he was a great scientist. <laughs>